What up, Flow fans? I am out and about today. The sun came out after like, I don't know, it feels like three months. And so I was like, I'm gonna go and get out in that. But uh, while I was out here, I remembered that I had a couple things that I needed to finish. And so I'm going to go and check in with my busy bot flow on Teams to see what items I have that are overdue today. So then that way I can get them done. But I can do it while I'm out here enjoying the sun. That's pretty sweet, right? You guys see this view? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. First day in a million days, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to switch over so you can see my mobile phone. Uh, I'm going to go to Teams. We're going to talk to BusyBot. We're going to see what my overdue items are, and uh, I'll show you that. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Let's go over to Teams, and let's head to my Microsoft Flow community and engagement general chat. And now I'm going to call my BusyBot at Busy. And then say my tasks. It's going to do its little thing here. All right. Wants to know, do I want my tasks due today or my overdue ones? Well, let's look at the most important ones. Let's look at overdue. It's going to continue to run its flow in the background. Oh, man, I have two overdue tasks. Let's see what those look like. Okay, so I have to work on case studies, and I have to send an email about changing the blog system over to WordPress, because we use this terrible system right now called Orchard. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and send an email over to my boss and say, hey man, can we, uh, can we get moving on that? Right. That's pretty rad, right? A couple clicks, talking to a bot inside of Teams, has it check my tasks, give me a list of my overdue ones, and so then I know exactly what I need to get done today so that I can be out here enjoying this magical day. All right? Stick with me. When I get home, I'm going to jump back on. I'm going to show you how the flow is built. All right? All right. All right, guys, and I'm home. And just as I promised, let's go ahead and jump into the flow and I'll show you how it's made. All right, here we are on the flow site. Let's go ahead and click on my flows. Let's go ahead and find my busy flow for getting task info. And since this one is already built, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through the steps one by one. All right, so. The first thing to know is that to use the BusyBot, you have to set an intent. And so what I wanted to do is get a task summary. And my trigger is going to be the words my tasks. Okay. Now, below that, what we have here is a couple of variables. Variables are somewhat of an intermediate to an advanced concept. Uh, but to give you an idea of what it is, when you initialize a variable here, Basically, you're setting a box down, saying here's an empty box that I'm going to use for something later. And so you can see we set down an empty box day end, we set down an empty box day start. Now down here to set variable, we're now putting something in that box. So if we look at day start, we can see that we added an expression in there. That expression is that start of day equals UTC now. Okay, and the variable end of day is the, the start of day plus we add days to UTC now. We add one day to UC, UTC now. So those are our start and end variables that now we can reuse over and over again inside of our flow. We don't have to type that expression over and over. So now we add another step with busy. So you saw earlier Busy, when I typed in my tasks, Busy came back to me and asked me tasks due today or overdue tasks. So I went ahead and I chose overdue tasks, right? So now we have a condition which checks which of the responses you choose. Based on those responses, Busy takes the flow down uh, one of two paths. So we see, is the response choice equal to tasks due today? If yes, go down this branch. If no, go down this branch. So obviously we chose overdue tasks. We chose the second branch. So here's how that flow works out. We do the list my tasks 
action. And then we have an, a very advanced expression here to check for us to see what we call overdue task, okay? And so you can kind of see that this is a, it's a long one. This is definitely advanced, but let me, let me put this in English for you so that you can understand what this means. So all this code you see in here basically says that the percent complete is not 100 and our due date isn't empty and our due date is before today, right? So if we have something assigned to us that was due before today, like yesterday or the day before, that item would be overdue. So that expression then returns us those overdue items and Busy comes back and says, you have however many overdue tasks. In our case, it was two and you can go ahead and go view them over here. And so then I click on that, it took us over to our tasks. Now on the other side, uh, same kind of thing, we list out the tasks, we get our tasks due today. So again, very long expression, and let me break it down for you in English. This one basically says that the due date is not empty, and the due date is greater than yesterday, but less than today. So that says that those are the items that are due today, obviously. Now again, uh, Busy goes and counts those things up, gives us uh, a response here, says you can see your tasks due today here, and then sends us a reply uh, for each of those items. And, uh, and that's it, guys. And so that's how we build that flow. If you want me to do a step-by-step -step blog on this, I definitely can. Uh, also, I would definitely tell you to reach out to the BusyBot guys. They're a super cool crew. They helped me a bunch putting this demo together. And uh, as always, guys, follow me on Twitter, at PNWAdventureGuy. Make sure that you're following me so that you can get in on these challenges. I'm going to put out another call next week to see what is the next video that you want me to make. Awesome, awesome. Talk to you guys soon. Like, subscribe. See you on the flip side.